We're excited. We're excited. Tur tur dirt. Turdurkin? I don't know. I always want to say Turdurkin. Turdurkin? Turdurkin. It's like the Ermagerd Gershbunks. Or like the guy from um, Muppets, the chef. Turkin, Durkin, Durkin, Durkin. Yeah. Wait, is that what that's supposed to be? That's what he's saying. I don't know. No, I know, but like. I don't know if that's what it is. I don't know anything is. about this video other than someone recommended it to us in our Discord. Not just somebody. Thomas Horton. That's right. Of one of the boys, one of the guys that frequents our Discord and that we greatly appreciate. Any recommendations that you have, you can drop them in our Discord. Our Discord channel has a section just for that, along with a few others where people are kicking it, hanging out, and you are welcome to join. There will be a link down in the description with the original video that we're getting ready to react to and our Discord. So. John Tron is always funny, always a good time. Oh, so this is bound to be great. One know. of the first things that you ever showed me, you know, John Was Tron John material. Tron, so. John Tron and Internet Historian have been the foundation of this channel. That's true. And Nikki's introduction to the craziness that is the internet, yeah. specifically YouTube. This video, like you said, Turducken Chef. John Tron. Let's check it out. You ready? Sure. <laughs> it's supposed to be something to do with Halloween, so... Well, it's a good time for us to be yeah. reacting to it. Spooky. Spooky kitchen. Spooky. Welcome to... John's Spooky Kitchen. <laughs> Just came up with that name right now. That's how good I am. Wasn't planned. Shit, can't compete with that. Check out that social blade. Hey, you're just like one of them guys at Benny Hanna, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I've been thinking recently, and frankly, I got a little teed off. Excuse the language. Because I was thinking, Thanksgiving's got a festive holiday food. We roast a turkey for Thanksgiving. Christmas, you got the holiday ham. What do you got for Halloween? Nothing. What are you going to do, smelt candy corn down into a liquid, viscous gold? So I decided to come up with my own food uh, that'll be perfect for the Halloween season. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna be cooking a turducken. Oh, well, what's a turducken, you ask? Well, well, obviously that's a chicken inside of a duck, inside of a turkey. Wow. Wait, what? What? It's the Frankenstein of foods, really. Borderline unethical. Okay, by the way, you might be thinking, John, how'd you devise that? Well, I didn't. That one comes uh, courtesy of uh, Paula Dean, go right on Food Network. What? Paula's just How much smiling away. But I tell you what, uh, the turkey, chicken, and duck probably aren't. True story. This is a dish so vile that PETA made a video condemning it. Yeah. Hello, the internet. Today we're going to make a vegan version of a turducken, or as it's also known, a tofuken. A turducken is a chicken stuffed inside a duck, stuffed inside a turkey, which is probably the grossest shit I've ever heard of. <laughs> Usually eaten by simple bags. That's one bad recipe. If you got grandma cursing up a storm. Damn, dude. So now I, uh, with uh, literally zero training, am about to uh, try to cook this thing. Oh, God. As you can see, the level is advanced. Baby, I, mean, I burn eggs. Prep time, baby. 30 minutes. Total, 13 hours. All right, here we go. <laughs> Step one, the chicken. Free bird. In the arms <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh god. Oh. I am oh beautiful. Oh god. I know people are gonna make fun of me because they're like, what you've never deboned a chicken before? Oh Is that part of the procedure? Is that as a maxi pad? <laughs> she was on the rag before she hit the slaughterhouse. <laughs> this just shows how either incompetent my generation or me oh, is. Ew. So the trick the trick to, to turducken is you have to get, you have to debone this, basically. So we have to make an incision here. Yeah. Who needs these? Yeah, there goes Me. that. Was I supposed to get rid of the wing? Well, I have. Well, I have. Okay, not so bad, not so bad. I'm supposed to get that thing, right? That whole middle out, but keep the rest intact. Now, I know this is true. But you see, the method of doing so is the, is the part that I don't understand. Something about there's a bone here, a joint, and I'm not a doctor, but I think that's what I'm dealing with. Okay, I was just, I was more scared than the chicken I'm dealing with. Whenever oh. I make a new Can recipe, in the totally me. 
I think I've got the hang of this now. <laughs> there it goes. There it goes. Oh, I actually got this. Anyways, there's that. She's gone. It's gone. That is gone. Whatever it is, I don't care. There we go. Ch uh, boneless chicken <laughs> fillet. Hey, if the sun don't rise in the east, then that ain't a beautiful fillet. If the sun does rise in the east, then... I don't know what kind of metaphor I'm going for. What I'm trying to say is that's a beautiful oh. bird. Oh. You know, even in my Giving wildest some problems. dreams, I thought this couldn't possibly go this poorly. <laughs> Second step's the duck! Now, if you want to know about this bad boy, I went to my local meat market that, that sells um, hard-to-find game here in New York City. Hard to find. And I said, you got duck? And they said, we're all out of duck. The last guy just bought it, and I said, are you fucking kidding me? This is what always happens to me. Fuck my life. Is there anywhere else here that sells duck? And he says, duck? In this city? No way. Apparently, he hadn't ever heard of Chinatown. Cause I took the subway, Damn. I took the one line straight down to Chinatown, baby. Peking duck, an emotionless Chinese man sold that to me, by golly. I don't know if that's safety. Listen, I love Beijing, I love the Chinese, but I'm a little skeptical of your duck. Normally I'm feeding you by the river. Today I'm taking your skeleton out. That's life. I actually think my Ooh. grandma once uh, gave me duck when I was like three, and I said, Grandma, frankly, this tastes like shit. <laughs> my grandma said, watch your mouth. I spimped, I took the, my backhand. <laughs> that was the last time grandma questioned me. Just kidding, that didn't happen, it was a complete lie. I love my grandma. But your duck still was tasted like shit. <laughs> that wasn't the joke, that was a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, this is not a Ridley Scott film. It's anyone's guess as to what that is. Now what you gotta do is you wanna put your chicken right inside oh, your duck. Oh, dude. And this, this is you gonna really, or anything? I'm gonna tell you now, that's how you, you lock the juice in. Cover it back up with whatever that is and move it aside. For the star of the show, boys, that's right, I'm talking about the turkey, fresh, never frozen. This bad boy was watching Rick and Morty last night. This is good quality compared to the other things. Oh, it's absolutely massive. There's some that sort of like huge. thing here, some <laughs> muzzle. Don't worry, guys, I don't think she's going anywhere. Yeah. What is that? It's going into the walls of the turkey. You hear that? Uh, what have they done? So now it's time to get that turkey open and filleted, boys and girls, because we're making Halloween dinner. Hey, that's actually easier than the other one. That's not so bad. Yeah, okay, got you. See, I'm getting the hang of this. No, no. Okay, this one's got one too. <laughs> Sometimes they go to my mom and her. <laughs> oh mom. my god. <laughs> All right, so guys, what I suggest you do, you take your Peking duck, you get him right in there. Now this- He didn't have to- As you can cut see, it open to do that. Don't forget the paprika. Oh, and he just grabbed it. garlic. <sighs> You get a little pep. This is the paprika. <laughs> then you close that boy up. Now I got. Now this is the How part you where you get the sutures. Okay. Now that's a beautiful bird. He didn't have that's to do all that. That's a beautiful bird. You know, when you see something like that, you just can't help but oh, wonder why. The there has to be a greater power out there somewhere. So why would he let this happen? Okay. <laughs> and she's together. I'm not. All right, guys. Now that the Clim oh, it's hot. The glove's hot. Now for the climax you've been waiting for. Has he washed one, his hands two, one time? That's a lot of damage. It's too small. Mm. It's too small. The fucking spider ribs. Three hours, yeah. Wow. 13 hours later. All right, she's done. You boys and girls ready to have a feast? Wait, what? It's a, it's a what inside a what inside a what? I will Ooh, not put that meat in my Ooh. mouth no matter no. how hard you make it. Inside a duck, inside a turkey. All right, guys, here it goes. Oh! Holy <laughs> smokes, that turducken. Oh, she's that coming back for vengeance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why 
How did I not expect something like that? Paula Dean is the reason all my friends are dead. Ew. Wow. I guess you could say <laughs> this wasn't fucking worth it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Something about, uh, hey, Hanks and Ghouls, Jamie Oliver. thanks for watching this special that. Halloween episode of JonTron. Are you feeling like this guy? Are you walking around feeling like you got no direction? Like some sort of emotionless vessel? Well, I've got just the thing for you. Official JonTron merch is back at represent.com. Surprise a loved one with this John and Jacques plug and play tee. Get an Ech phone case, because I'm a dirty sellout. Hell, there's even socks in here. You know it's serious when a man is selling himself branded socks. There's also some hats, sweaters, and hoodies. Point is, go check it out. You won't regret it. Happy Halloween, everyone. I want some turkey. You want turkey? Oh, that, that yeah. was appetizing that made you want to eat No, it made food. me think about Thanksgiving food. I do much prefer a turkey versus a ham. Oh. Jeez, My I, dad is a ham man. I haven't really been a fan of ham in a long time. Me either. I used to kind of like it a little bit. As a kid. And now I, I just don't even like it at all. Yeah. Bacon for me, you know. Like pork is okay. You don't really eat pork though. No, but I mean it's it's okay. Like for me, chicken, beef. Yeah. Fish. Some fish. Seafood. Se some seafood. Lobster. Crab legs. Crab. There is, um, I've seen someone put octopus in a turkey. And it was this gross, like the turkey legs were like, or yeah. turkey legs, the octopus tentacles, tentacles were yeah. like coming out of it. It was disgusting. Yeah, I've eaten some good octopus, but. This was outlandish though. And I yeah. can't believe that that was an actual Paula Dean recipe. Oh, I'm sure it was. God damn, you should see the concoctions that she makes out of sugar. Pure fucking sugar. You mean she, butter? Uh, I, I, sugar both. too? Both. Hmm. She I needs, knew that it was like a butter. Yeah, well, she is like, you know, molding pottery out of butter and then decorating it with sugar. She's like fucking taking a chisel. She's still and, alive. Her career Maybe is she not. doesn't eat. Yeah, that's true. Maybe she doesn't eat everything she makes on TV. Or oh, did no, make on no TV. Oh, no fucking way. John Tron, you know, a Master Chef Gordon Ramsay level out here. Dude. Uncle Roger needs to react to this. Oh, my God. I don't know why I just assumed that he would actually make it and it would actually show it. So when that thing came flying out of there, it spooked me. It did. Man. Caught if, me off guard. If Uncle Roger reacted to this, it would make my life. That would be so funny. I would be so happy to well, see Well, John's, you know, opening everything, not washing his hands, the juice is running everywhere, the twine's in the floor. He's licking his fingers sometimes. I didn't see him licking his fingers. Oh, okay. And just <laughs> picking up the um, spices. Like, yeah. cross-contamination, Same my way man. Nikki cooks. <laughs> Practically a mirror image of Nikki Cooper. Yeah, totally. Yeah. But good video. Overall, a short one for him. But yeah. Very funny. I've never seen him cook. Well, what was that mukbang thing that he did? Oh, God. I, I can't remember, remember what that what was. food it was. Anyway, this one was definitely over the fucking top. He actually was in the kitchen. Yeah. He was, like, very hands-on. Yes. And usually, you know, he's he's on the couch hanging out. He tells you stuff, but you don't see him. It Sometimes was, he'll go out yeah. uh, and, and in the public and kind of do some skits and stuff. So do this was Tom different. Green type stuff. Yeah. So I like yeah. this one. Yeah, this is uh, definitely a different look, but a great video nonetheless. You should all go and show your love for JonTron. If this is your first time seeing a JonTron video, somehow you need to go actually check out JonTron's channel, watch his videos, support that guy because he is fucking hilarious, um, as you have witnessed here. And if you enjoyed our video, you can do the same for us. Subscribe to our channel, like the video. I mean, we even have a Discord channel that'll be linked down in the description along with this original video. And you can leave a recommendation in the Discord or in the comments below because we 
well, I definitely would have never learned about this if it wasn't for the recommendation. Now, I know about Mr. John Horton Tron. himself. Thank you, Thomas Horton, for giving us so many great Halloween reactions. I'm so looking forward and excited to react yeah. to them. So. He actually made a big list. Yeah. So we were able Comprehensive to, Halloween to check it out. And, yeah, I appreciate that. We, we wanted to honor that effort by, by checking this video out for him and for us because it was a lot of fun. And I hope you all appreciate it. Had a good time. Um, I guess that'll do it for this one. That'll do it. Yeah, see you next see time. You.